Just like most things these days, there's an app for that. VioRide is no different. Once it's downloaded, the phone we all keep in our hand can track down a bike, unlock it, and set you on your merry way. I typically ride the Vio bikes around campus near the bottom of campus where it's a little flat, or I'll go to the top of campus and ride down from Cherry or another building up there. Louisville senior Zachary Neese says the VO ride bikes are very convenient. So I live right past the softball field, so I can just get on the bike and ride over there and lock it. I don't have to worry about my personal bike getting stolen or even that bike getting stolen. 175 VO ride bikes arrived on campus in December. By the end of the spring semester, there was an average of 180 rides per day. I think the students have taken to it uh, very well. Uh, our ridership numbers uh, show that you know, we've seen positive growth uh, in the past few months. Yeah, so the bikes are operated ride through bike, the VO uh, Ride app. That, uh, so the app's pretty easy to use. You just have to scan a little QR code that's on the bike. Wait just a second. And you should have an audible, uh, you know, the, the sound from the locking mechanism on the rear wheel. It's also cost effective. 15 minutes for just 50 cents after paying a $5 minimum, or you can pay for a whole year. A lot of people don't know that there's the subscription service that you can get, and it's only $48 a year for students. Fleet coordinator Tyler Hanna is spending the summer performing maintenance on the bikes and getting ready to launch the battery powered e bikes, which are sure to be welcome on the hill. As you get going uh, up the hill, going up to Cherry Hall, uh, once you start pedaling, uh, you'll start to feel the, the battery start to kick in and it'll actually cruise you up the hill uh, very pretty easily. Until then, the regular VO ride bikes are getting students around just fine. It's just been very convenient being able to lock the bike up wherever I want. And I Parking and transportation has given VO Ride permission to utilize bike racks across campus. Hannah says the bike's geofence area will eventually expand to downtown Bowling Green. With this week's View from the Hill, I'm Amy Bingham.